one more time. Okay, so in this video, we are going to review in more detail the outliner and the 3D viewport. Okay, so like you have learned in the previous videos, the interface is made of modules. Each module is a different kind of editor. And in the default layout, you have the 3D viewport or 3D scene right here. And then here you have the outliner. And as you might have observed, they are synced because in fact, these are uh, two ways of representing the same information. So whenever I select an object in the 3D viewport, then it gets highlighted also in the outliner and vice versa. If I select it in the outliner, it gets selected in the 3D viewport. And the same is true for multiple selections. So if I left click and shift, I can select multiple objects in the outliner, which also selects them in the 3D viewport. And the same is true about the 3D and everything gets selected also in the outliner. Okay, so this is the basic info that you need about the 3D viewport and the outliner being synced. However, um, it doesn't end there. So the outliner is there to provide you with a list of every single entity that exists in this file. Now, it also affords you the possibility of renaming each entity and also organize them in what are called collections. Now, by default, every object that exists in the default scene is contained within a collection named just collection. And every collection has this little cardboard box icon. And then if you right click into the outliner and left click on new collection, you can create new collections, as many as you want to. And what you might want to do is to double click onto them and rename them in a way that makes sense. So for example, I'm going to rename this lights and this one cameras and then what I can do is select an object and drag it into the collection that I want to designate as the container for it. So you can think of this as folders and files like just how they are organized in your machine. And just like that, you can also do a nested collection where you can make a collection inside a collection, inside a collection, and so on, depending on how complex your file might be. And of course, you can delete them, which now I'm going to do with the delete. And what else? If you right click onto them, you can color code them. At some point, if you have a really complex project, it might become useful to do this, or maybe just like to have things color coded and makes it easy for you to stay organized. Okay, so this wraps it up for this brief video on the outliner. My recommendation is to make a habit of renaming every object as soon as you create it. And if the complexity of the file requires it, keep everything neatly organized inside collections with names that make sense. All right, so the outliner is not exactly hot stuff. And we've been staring at a boring gray cube for like, what, 15 minutes now? maybe more and that's why in the next video i am gonna show you how to get your hands on this project file that i created for you so we can keep learning in a way that is a little bit more exciting and also low-key 
Now you know what's happening in the outliner here and you can make sense of the fact that I organized my project within a collection called project and then I had some various items like the lights or the cameras organized in a series of subfolders. Okay, cool. So I'll catch you in the next video.